CSGO has been comparable to many games like it. Since the beginning of 2020 with the release of Valorant, one of the most common questions asked is, is CSGO more difficult than Valorant? Even till this day, this topic still gets mentioned. With some of these comparisons between CSGO and Valorant, people hold beliefs CSGO may die due to Valorant's advantages. Just after two years, we can look at CSGO and Valorant more in depth, with both games having a core of similarity of features, things like map objectives, a skill ranking system, seasons, and a clear divided differences. The main objective for CSGO is T's to plant the bomb and CT's to prevent this. Valorant has the exact same layout objective. Their maps are statistically 25% smaller and considered claustrophobic by an average CSGO player. With a smaller map comes easier rotations. This changes Valorant's pacing faster than CSGO. This makes a Valorant player need to react faster to the environment. With Valorant's fast pacing and small maps comes with its own unique set of characters on top of that. Obviously CSGO is more reliant on weapons and consistent spray, leaving the gameplay more on skill and mastery of a sight gun pattern. It's evident that every factor of this plays into the game's ranking system for Valorant. Valorant is more of a team-based game, relying on another person's defense, entry fagger, or being a support. I do like to say that Valorant is dependent on newer content and doesn't have a lot of communities to keep it alive. CSGO has a very diverse ecosystem to help push it into a lot of different eyes. From all these attributes though, it makes Valorant a different flow of a game, technically, aesthetically, and statistically. To end this off, Valorant holds up not as a competitor to CSGO, but a unique, different paced first person shooter. It's not going to kill CSGO anytime soon due to it having a completely different community built around it, but I will admit it has more challenges to overcome.